Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Robert DeRuin from Japanime Games. That's right. Working at Heart of Crown, a deck building game which came out in Japan several years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now you have the English edition that is just hitting the market now? It'll be hitting the market in May. Look okay. out for it in May. Uh, we're all really, really excited about it because it has been a long time coming. Essentially, Heart of Crown is a deck building card game. The king has died. Seven princesses vie for the throne. Okay. We are not the princess. We are the princess's campaign manager. Okay. Our goal is to help our princess seize the throne through violence, witchcraft, and bribery. All right. So it's pretty much cutesy Game of Thrones okay. with uh, anime characters. All so right. it's a lot of fun. It's really cool. Uh, I'm just getting this shuffled up. This should be one more shuffle. It pains me to do this to these cards without sleeves, but I feel like I'm I'm in a I'm in a rush. He was, you know, he was rushing me. Earlier. We're like, yeah, come on, Robert. Yeah, yeah on this. pick up the pace. Yeah. So, uh, basically, the way the game works is, like a lot of deck builders, you have a marketplace. This is mm -hmm. our static marketplace. Here's our random marketplace. The marketplace is dealt out so that uh, I can shuffle. I'm going to deal it out in a way. There we go. Okay. Bam. So eight unique cards are flipped. If there's any duplicates, they, they create a pile. Okay. And basically the way it works is this creates... Oh, we're a little bit... We could, we could be a little yeah. further up. We could be a little further up. Now, the really intense thing, the thing that I really, really, really love about this deck builder is how it handles actions. Okay. And so we're going to demonstrate that by going through the first turn. You ready? Yes. All right. So basically the way the game works is when you first start out, you can only play territory or action cards, okay. gray cards or brown cards. Okay. If the card is green, do not worry about it because okay. there's nothing you can do with it until you back a princess. Okay. All right. So I'm going to deal myself out five, and I'm going to make sure that everybody can see my hand. So I have four territory cards mm -hmm. and one green card, which is a secession card. Okay. Like I said, we're not even going to worry about this because okay. I can't do anything with it until I have a princess. Okay. So essentially what's going to happen is I can play one card at the beginning of my turn. Okay. So I'm going to play, for example, play right here. I'm going to play a farming village. Mm -hmm. Now the way I know if I can play another card is, do I have a gold arrow? Okay. Do I have one? Yes. yes. So I can play another card. Another card. And another card. Okay. So I would play my four cards, and now at this point, I can buy as many things as I want as long as I can afford them. Okay. So I could buy a post horse and a scout. I could buy a city, and that's it. I'm going to pick up a city development card. Okay. Cost four. I can afford it. Boom. Turn up Easy card. Flip over a new card. That's correct. Okay. There we go. So that would be my turn. I would draw five new cards, and it would be your turn. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna make my next hand Go something different. Yep. Just so that we can right. we can boom. So there you go. My next, next hand, hand, let's say I cheated a lot and now <laughs> I have these cards as my second hand. That you're playing with gold and then gold off here, yes. and now you've got two arrows. So now check this out. Trading ship has no arrows. Okay. So, so we got some cards here. What sure. this means is is if I play it by itself, that's the end of my turn. There's okay. nothing else that I can do. However, Post Horse has two arrows. So as long as I play a Post Horse, mm -hmm. I could then play a trading ship to either side of it and keep my and chain continue. going. Okay. Right. What I love about it is, is it removes the need to track actions mm -hmm. because actions are displayed on the board. Okay. And it's really solid. It's really interesting. The other really cool mechanic about the game is once you back a princess, you gain a physical kingdom. So say when I backed my princess, I had a turn, and just for the sake of argument again, let's say it looked. All right. Yeah, so was, do you get to back a princess whenever you want? When you as long as you six? can afford to. As long as you can to, do that. To form your medieval super pack, you need six gold coins in a single turn. Mm -hmm. So basically, once you've done that, so basically, let's say I want to back. Uh, the little pirate princess right here, Clam Clam, the one you had. Okay. The one you had up. Mm -hmm. Say I want to back Clam Clam. She costs six to back. Mm -hmm. All right. And I play my territories to afford her. That that nets me seven, right? Yep. So I have seven right here, and I decide, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna back Clam Clam. 
She is removed from the game, placed into a separate area, your demands, your kingdom, mm -hmm. and the first three territories that you backed her with become her kingdom. Okay. And these now act as a bank that let me store cards that cost equal to or less than that. Okay. So it adds a real dimension of skill and choice to a genre that has a lot of variance to it. Okay. Because I can now hold cards behind, I can I can keep them and use them for later turns for a larger amount of planning. And it's just, it adds this whole dynamic to the game that I think is really, really solid. Okay. And like I said, this will be out in May. It's Heart of Crown. It's, uh, if anyone out there is recognizing the art and really scratching their head and saying, what is this? This is the uh, same artist who did the video game Etrian Odyssey, a very popular video game series. So if you're like me and you were looking at the art for like an hour and going, who did this? <laughs> uh, same guy. Okay. Uh, like I said, out in May, look at it from uh, Japan Anime Games. Uh, Heart of and Crown. And there's at least five expansions in there, Japan already? So I we have coming out right away, we will have the Northern Enchantress expansion okay. and the Far East expansion. Yeah. And, uh, you know, be on the lookout in the future for the next full expansion, which is the, the Fairy expansion. Okay. So, All right. Thanks very much for the overview, yeah, Robert. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for letting me show it off.